which two apes will advance out of Roaring Kitty's Group B? Find out next! Hello everybody! You're looking in at a live picture of the moon! Buck Birch and Ryder Creed here with you for more exciting Diamond Hand Racing Series action! The Roaring Kitties Group A was the craziest group of races we've had here at Corsa Luna. There were all kinds of jumps, slides, and finish line crashes in Group A. We saw Keith Gills in his Mustang GT and Kane Stewart in his feline appropriate Jaguar XESV advance on to the final. Will Group B be as exciting? Only one way to find out. Let's get to it. All the way from Acapulco, Mexico, our pole setter, Rafael Rafe Munya in Roger Dodger. I'm told with good authority that Rafe is wearing a fire retardant swimsuit under his coveralls. In the second spot, in his Pontiac Trans Am, Rob Oates. Uh, Rob recently uh, shaved the mustache he's had on since the early 70s. Riveting. Next up in the three spot, Dave Stassa and his Buick Regal GNX. Dave likes uh, bananas. But he's a Siamese. Of course he likes bananas. Have you done any preparation for today's races? Well, no. Shirley's car's in the shop. You know how she plays Mahjong with the girls on Thursdays? Mm hmm Well, I had to drive her over to Betty's, and as she was getting out of the car, Betty yelled out, Is that Buck Birch? Buck, you gotta come in here and say hi to Charlene. You remember Charlene Ryder? Yeah. So anyways, I go in here and say hi to Charlene, and when does Betty break out? Not the Bananas Foster. Bananas Foster! Oh boy. You know how I love Bananas Foster. You see, you take your bananas. No, 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 we're not doing this. And last but not least, Duke Seville and his Dodge Charger. Duke also likes bananas. Lights out, Rafi Munia onto the quick start, into the chicane. Dave Stassa believes he can fly! Into crater corner, Munia with the commanding lead. And he hits the purple circles! Rob Oates makes the pass. Into curve finale. Oates gets sideways as Munia hits him, and Seville flips! Oates and Munia cross the finish in reverse to take one and two. What on earth happened there, Buck? Well, first things first in Banana Chicane. Dave Stassa just flat out lost control and took to the air. Somehow, both Oates and Seville avoided that flying Buick Regal. There was an ape along the side of the road that was not so lucky. Look at him go. And then, as Raffi's headed into the infinity pool, he just loses control and smacks the purple circles. I've never seen anything like that. That little hiccup was enough for Rob to slip past Raffi for what looked like the easy win. But hold on, out of current finale, Rob Oates gets it all wrong. Rafa Mooney and Duke Seville have nowhere to go in broadside Oates. Duke does not keep the shiny side up as Rob and Rafi take the checkers. Well, Heat One lived up to Group A's offering for sure. Rob Oates takes five bananas with a time of 21.796. Rafi Munya is lucky to settle for second and three bananas after that adventure. Seville and Stasa each get zero bananas for their DNFs. The drivers are back up on the grid. It's Oates on pole. Stasa moves alongside on the front row. Duke Seville in third, and Rafi Munia heads to the back. It's lights out, and they're off. Through the chicane cleanly as they all bunched up heading into Crater Corner. It's Oates, Stasa, Seville, and Munia into the pool. Oates gets it all wrong. Three cars turn over. Duke keeps the shiny side up this time, but has nowhere to go. You know what that means, Ryder? A monkey's uncle. Back up top we go, and once again, it's Oates on pole. Stasa outside front. Duke Seville in third, and Rafi Munia in the back in black. It's lights out, neck and neck into the chicane, and Stasa again takes flight. It's Rob Oates, followed by Duke Seville and Rafi Munia closing in fast. Into Crayon Canyon as Munia spins out of the infinity pool. It's Oates and Seville, one, two, as Rafi Munia for the second straight heat, backs across the line for third. I don't know if it's that moon fog or what, but Dave Stasa's Buick Eagle is acting more like a Buick Eagle. Am I right? Oh, <laughs> that's a good one, Buck. And look at this one, Ryder. Coming out of the infinity pool and right into your living room, it's none other than Rafi Munya. What was he thinking? I sure hope the camera ape is okay. Our producer is telling us he's fine and wanted you all to know that he got the shot. King Carl is one of a kind, Ryder. Maybe one day he'll invite us out on his boat. With his second win in as many races and a new fast lap of 19742, Robo sits atop our leaderboard with 10 bananas. Rafi's third place and two bananas puts him in second, and Duke Seville gets on the board with his second place finish and three bananas. Dave Stasso on pole, Duke Seville outside front, Rafi Munya in third, and our leader, Rob Oates, moves to the back. It's lights out and away we go with Roaring Kitty's Group B, Heat 3. It's Stasso, Munya, Seville, and Oates. Duke Seville runs out to the back of Rafi Munya and he flips. Stasso with the tight line through the infinity pool. This Buick Eagle's on a flyer, Ryder. Onto rug pull straight they come and it's Stasa and Oates with the 1-2 finish. I don't know if those young juveniles up there threw it or what, but there's a moon rock on the track. Dave Stasa narrowly misses it and forces Duke Seville to swerve into Rafa Munya, setting off a chain reaction that ended both of their races. Rob Oates was able to slide by and he's gone oh, 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 ah, to finish second. Please don't do that again. 
Dave Stasa grabs first and sets the new fast lap as he gets down into the 18s with an 18.886. With that second place finish, Rob Oates remains atop the leaderboard with 13 bananas. He'll lock up his trip to the finals. Dave Stassa and Rafi Munya are knotted up at five bananas each, and Duke Seville still in the hunt to advance with three bananas in fourth. Up top we go for heat number four. Seville on pole, Munya in second, Oates and Stassa in back. It's lights out for the final time. Duke and Rafi side by side. Muna launches off the track and comes back on. It's Seville and Oates, one, two. Oates flips it in the infinity pool and collects Dave Staza. Duke Seville all alone and he flips it on rug pull straight. Sliding to the line, will he make it? No! We have another monkey's on. Rafa Munio gets all confused and thinks he's back cliff diving in Acapulco as he pirouettes off and then back onto the track and sticks the landing, only to roll over like an out of the money call option a short time later in credit court. Meanwhile, Rob Oates feels a phantom twitch from his lost mustache and flips over in the infinity pool and in Staza's race as well. Duke Seville was pushing hard out of curve and finale to get that bonus banana, but finds himself upside down near the finish line once again for a second monkey's uncle of the day. Fuck, the cars are back up on the grid. Seville, Munya, Oates, and Stasa remain the order for the second attempt at Heat 4. It's lights out and away we go. Munya gets the early lead and swan dives out of the chicane. Seville accepts his lead as Oates and Stasa get together. Their day is done. Can Duke Seville keep it together to grab first and advance to the finals? Yes! Ryder, Rafa Munia does a perfect one and a half twist coming out of Banana Chicane. After that wreck, he better hope that swimsuit retards more than fire, if you know what I mean. I unfortunately do. Rob Oates and Dave Stassa come together and create a corner to end their day. But what's this? Dave kept on going? What on earth? Dave Stassa makes it through the Infinity Pool and Crayon Canyon, but comes to a stop and curve a finale. What was he thinking? I have no clue, Buck. Had Stasa finished the race, we would have had a tie for second. But with that win and a new fast lap of 18.542, Duke Seville grabs five bananas and the bonus banana for the fast lap to move into second place behind Rob Oates. They'll be moving on to the Roaring Kitties Troop Finals, where Keith Gills and Kane Stewart will be waiting for them. What the heck was that? That's our end card. I remember that race. That was a good one. You should check that one out. Wrap it up, Buck. Okay, sorry, sorry. For Ida Creed, I'm Buck Birch, and remember, Apes, always hold on to your bananas and keep the shiny side up. So long, everybody!